Good morning, people. Morning. How are y'all doing? So, I'm Sean. This is Kira. And um, today, we're just going to be talking about some common sense stuff regarding asteroids, meteorites, shooting stars, that kind of thing. The existence of shooting stars can't be denied. The existence of something falling and whoosh can't be denied, right? Take uh, a look. Stop caring about the cat. She's tearing up your clothes. Okay. I guess I'll be late for prom. Anyway. Um, I want to go to prom. <laughs> I only went to three. <laughs> no comment. Um, Fight me. <laughs> yeah, at least I didn't take a Ken doll to prom. You took blow up Barbie to prom. Right? <laughs> hey, that was just a my prom, you know, because I didn't. I didn't want to like actually be reminded of whatever whore's personality, so I just took a really fine bitch I didn't even know, so I just be like, hey, look, there's pictures, the nice, pretty girl in the pictures. And it was blown. She wound up showing up in a dress that... I can go get Well, let's just say I don't have the right kind of friends for me to want to show them those pictures, you know? Like, she's... If she was... And the dress she wore showed them off, yes. <laughs> Anyway, moving on. Notes? Yes, notes. Okay. So, I'm going to stand these up against the camera stand here. See if that doesn't all slide down and fucking create a catastrophe. Yay, catastrophe. Like the Saints game last night. So much. Oh, uh, what happened with the Saints game, dude? Oh, uh, we were so ahead. So ahead. Then I don't know what happened after halftime. We like went to sleep, and the very last, the ball was this far over the end zone, and we lost by two points. This far over the freaking end zone. So you put while they were while they were ahead. I don't know. I'm starting to uh, I'm starting to see the old Saints team coming back. Ugh! But it's preseason. Don't matter. Don't matter. It's preseason. There was this guy. He was born just ahead. <laughs> just ahead. Head. He didn't live very long because you know a head really can't fucking sustain its own life, can it? So head dies, goes to heaven. Ask God, okay, I'm gonna send you back. Give you anything you want. Make up for the suffering that you endured for being just a head. And he said, God, I'd really like to be able to get around on my own. So why don't I try some feet? So the next life, he was born, a head, and some feet. And man, he'd be walking around on them feet. He was so happy. He'd be jumping up and down, dancing. But a head and feet cannot sustain its own life. So, you know, he ran out of carbohydrates pretty quick and, and died. Went back to heaven. I said, all right. I think you put those feet to good use. What do you wish for your next life? I said, oh, God. I'd like to have some arms and legs. I don't know if that's asking for two things or four things at once, but, you know, I'd, I'd like to have some limbs so I can do more things. That's it, okay. So, he had this little head, his arms, feet, with legs on this time. He had no body. Head. Arms, legs. But he could dance now. And he could climb. And he could throw stuff around. And he was happy. But a head and arms and legs cannot sustain its own life. So we died. Went to heaven. God said, you know, I'm proud of all those things you did while you were alive. Those arms and legs. 
Well, you sure climbed that tree fast. You didn't have much of a body weighing down, but you sure climbed that tree fast. So, God said, I'm going to give you anything you want this time for your next life. The man said, all right, God, I think I'm ready. I'm ready for a whole body. Give me the same body everybody else has. Make me just like you, Lord. God said, okay, I hope you're ready for this. That man gets reborn. He's a normal kid. Grows up fast. He's been born a few times. Trying to get ahead of himself. Um, well, by the time he gets old enough to walk, man, is he a walker. He's walking, and it's maybe just a couple hours, he's already running. And man, he goes, runs outside, gets hit by a car. Oh, it was tragic, the poor little, poor little guy. His mama was so upset. He died, went back to heaven. God said, hey, you got your new body? What what happened? And all I could say is, should have quit while I was ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways, anyways, anyway. Enough, uh, enough of the parables. <laughs> So, I was just thinking, oh shit, yeah. Right! <laughs> um, and I asked my wife, hot air rises, right? We all know this, right? Pretty fucking hot air rise. We all know hot air rises. But they tell us that in the upper atmosphere, the higher you go, the colder it gets. Hot air rises higher you go, the colder it gets. But they've repeated it to you over and over again. And you can see the little picture in your brain, can't you? Right now, you can see the graph where they show you the color changes, and then that's the whatever the fuck sphere, and that's the this the fuck sphere, and that's the other <coughs> fuck sphere, and that's your mama sphere, and that's your daddy sphere. Okay? Stratosphere, troposphere, ionosphere, you know, okay, those things. We do see some evidence that this could be, because anybody who's ridden on a plane has at least heard of, if they haven't seen it for themselves, that at high altitudes, at high speeds, airplane wings ice up. And the temperature up there, as measured by a fast-moving aircraft, is <clears throat> fucking cold, isn't it? Okay. So we see. Some evidence, right? That's what you want to call it. Right. <laughs> right, but they mention that when they teach us this in fucking, you know, 6th and 7th grade science, okay? But we also know... <sighs> I just cooled down my phone a little bit. You blow a fan on something, it cools down. Most things, when you blow them, they cool down. Men heat up, but see, that's that's a different story. Okay, I'm not talking about that. I had to. Do it. Okay, I had to. Sorry, sorry. Um, but you know, you got a fan. Fan's got three settings. You put it on the low setting. It's not that cool. Put it on the high setting. Oh, it's cooler. What's happening is called exothermic convection okay the molecules are moving over the object and absorbing the heat that it's radiating this is because the dispersion of many molecules can absorb a lot more heat than just the surrounding stagnant air okay well for some reason 
we're told that when a space shuttle yeah. What's it called? Space shuttle. A space shuttle. <laughs> a shittle skittle. <laughs> re enters. It's supposed to burn up on the front tip on entry. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that fancy graphic studio of science. Look at that. See, it's burning up on re entry. Okay. But that's okay. Because it's protected by styrofoam. What? Are you fucking kidding me? Styrofoam? Look, they, they build the ship. They, they build the fucking things. What, what? Fucking 60 miles from here? <laughs> they just reopened their fucking contract or something to be, to be building some more rocket tank or something. I don't know. <sighs> now they got these black tiles on it. The foam behind that on the shuttle itself. The fucking things that are going up giving this shuttle its initial velocity, and velocity is key, passing through the same fucking part of the atmosphere, okay, with the big fuel tanks on it, okay? They provide most of the thrust, most of the speed. It reaches most of its velocity via those giant fucking fuel tanks. And the outer shell of those is a fucking styrofoam that you can fucking pull apart with your hands, okay? So, because a really fast cooling fan is effectively on them, they explode. <clears throat> makes perfect sense. <laughs> Doesn't it make sense, baby? You know, like, you know, you, you, something goes fast through air, it cools off. Unless NASA builds it, then it explodes. <laughs> Painting your photo. Wait, wait. I get it. The space shuttle's a Ferrari. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> you can't take it anywhere without it catching fire. <laughs> can't start it without blowing up. Right there you go. <laughs> See, I think if the space shuttle crew wants to stay safe, they need to uh, get a better tan and wear more cologne. So that way, Ferrari will agree with it. <laughs> um, so, for some reason, Meteor. Okay. Yeah, Space Shuttle. Let me just make sure I'm finishing my thought. Okay. Space Shuttle goes up. Same fucking speed's coming down. Protected by styrofoam. Protected by tile with styrofoam behind it going down. Okay. I'm sure the tile's wonderful. Yeah, I'm sure <laughs> but the fucking thing's still going just as fast. See, it's going fast enough to escape gravity. And if you think it's going faster on re-entry, why don't you show me the 400 fucking mile long landing strip it would take? Okay, because there's no fucking way it's going faster on re-entry. If they're at fucking orbital speeds, they're going to need to slow down drastically before they can re-enter the atmosphere. Just to make landing fucking possible. Okay? You don't land at Mach 17. You don't approach the fucking airport at Mach 17. Okay? Because as soon as you line it up, you will have past it. <laughs> oh. Uh, how have we all just... And, and look, if you think that's proof that the entire system is corrupt, no. What you gotta understand is the people that we elect are just as fucking dumb as we are. They're humans just like you. They've been misled just like you. It's not an overpowering fucking elite just because you're rich you get told all the secrets kind of fucking deal. My God. I know a lot of really rich people and they don't have a fucking clue. <laughs> right. 
<clears throat> in fact, um, technically, and I know this is where a lot of people think that I'm talking crazy, but sucks for you that I have proof to back it up. The government, the United States government, wouldn't know as much as they know now without yours the fuck true. Okay? I'm sorry, I take a little bit of pride in that. Barack Obama saved the economy by implementing one of my plans. Email, bitch. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. I mean, as funny as that is, I swear it is absolutely true. Okay. Oh, with my other, no, I'm not crossing any fingers. I'm not crossing any toes. Public private investment program. Look it up. My plan took stock market from 6,000 to 11,000 in one week. All right, talking about numbers had to be Asian, so I can seem more credible. Racist. <laughs> yes. I'm racist because I think Asian people are better at me than math. Okay. After a race, we can all win. As long as they'll do our homework for us. Wait, no. No, see, I know what it's like to be an Asian kid because... For all intents and purposes, I was the fucking Asian kid in my classes. <laughs> right. In fact, I've had Asian kids cheat off of me before. Me and this little girl Sharon Shen in, 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 in my gifted honors class, okay. See, I had dropped out of high school to get a job in an apartment and then went back. So I was in this class for GT honors people, but it was freshmen taking a senior level class. So I'm with these young kids that went back to high school. I'm fucking old. And like, you know, I'm old to begin with. And they're like advanced for their age. Okay. And me and this one girl, Sharon Shen. We're five chapters ahead of the rest of the gifted honors class. And she got ahead of me. And I'd like, you know, tease her, make her fucking laugh. You know, like, well, Jesus Christ. Christ, Sharon, how smart do you need to be? You want to take over the entire world? <laughs> but, you know, there are some black people who can run faster than most of you. But you know what? There's some black people who can't run fast at all. They got fucking diabetes, okay? <laughs> there are some Chinese people who are really good at math. Guess what? There's some Chinese people who probably fucking suck at math. There's a lot of white people who own land and shit. But you know what? A lot of white people on fucking food stamps, isn't there? The only way anybody should touch a racial topic is to make somebody laugh. And to test people's ability to laugh at themselves. If you can't laugh at yourself, God help you. Because, hmm. uh, man, I look fucking pale as shit in this weird ass lighting right now. <laughs> uh, she got a reason for her curly hair. Just like I got a reason for my rhythm and big shoes I mean uh, ego I mean uh, forehead forehead, forehead. <laughs> the colossal forehead of science dun, dun, dun. all right I guess that's all we're gonna talk about today it's early um, still. yeah it's really <laughs> early we're still on our first cup of coffee I love yeah. Um. Have a good Sunday morning, everyone. 
I recommend if you do not go to a church with some good music that you find some like Chris Tomlin or one of these guys that's pretty good these days. There's some good music that doesn't try to pump religion into you, but makes you connect with God and feel grateful for life. Okay. You should find that music and listen to it today. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, or move on with your life. But remember, I should have quit while you were ahead. <laughs>